Hi everyone, so we're just going to do a quick demonstration of how to uh, mix and administer GCSF injections. We've got two different types here, 13 million and 34 million. Some of you might be mixing um, if your nurse has told you that you can. Some of you might just have one pack that you need to administer. So uh, just always consult your, your consultant and let them know what you need to do. But because we were told to mix, uh, we were trying to find videos on this. And so now this is day five of Richard's injections, hopefully his last day of doing these. Um, and these will actually help increase his cell production so that when he goes today for his stem cell harvesting, um, they will be able to collect hopefully over five million cells. So the first thing you want to do is these are the two powdered liquids of the units you want to mix. You want to take the lids off of everything. Always use your yellow box to discard of everything. And these are the two needles. I don't know if you can see this, Rich. Well, this is my <laughs> poor film. Oh, yeah. So one of them is a very long needle. One of them is a very thin, short needle. One of them is for mixing the solutions. One of them is for injecting yourself. Do not get this wrong. Richard would probably divorce me if he put this needle yeah. in his stomach and not this one. Yeah. So again, you just to take the, the the bases off everything, hold the top, hold the bottom and just twist, and then the bottom will come off, everything in the box. Same for the thin needle, just twist, and it comes off. And this is your syringe of solution, just distilled water. So you just twist the top of that too. Because I'm, I'm all over the place with this camera work. So all the I'm doing <laughs> at the moment is just taking the lids and the tops of everything so it's all easy to do, especially if you're doing this by yourself. So we've got our two bottles of powder, our distilled solution, and our two needles ready to go. First thing you want to do is you want to take the sheath off of the long needle, okay? Put it down here because you want to put it away at the moment. You get your syringe solution and you just twist that onto the top. You get one of your bottles of powder and you want to pierce the top with the needle, push down strong and you'll see, I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera. So come in a bit closer to the lens and let me just... But there is a gap in between the grey bits there, so you can actually see where your needle's going in. And what you want to do is you want to push half of the solution into the syringe, into the bottle. About half, doesn't have to be exact. And you can see here that this, the solution is in the bottom. So you want to then spend a minute just twisting, not shaking, because you don't want to get air bubbles, twisting the solution in the bottom until you can see that all of the powder has dissolved. So you normally spend about a minute twisting this. Okay, so now the solution's mixed in both bottles. You can see the solution here, and you can see the needle just pushing out the top. You want to bring the needle, so it's within the solution, and just to the top of the bottle and then what you want to do is withdraw so you just pull back on the syringe until all the water's gone and, the, and it's empty okay so then what you do is you pull the needle out and you want to check that there's no air bubbles in the solution if there is just give it a flick and just push the syringe to the surface for any air bubbles to come out. And we'll do the same with the next bottle. So you pierce the top with the same needle. I'll do it from a distance this time. So you can, have got the solution in there. Pull the needle right down. You'll, you'll be able to see it. There's a a, a grey seal each side but there's a gap so you want to be looking to see the needle in that gap and then you just put it down 
so it's all, all in there. I just check, I always tip the bottle up and make sure there's no drips, nothing's in there. Then you take the needle out, do the same, make sure there's no air bubbles. Apologies for the drunken camera work. Give it a little scrap and make sure that the solution is to the top. So there's no, there's no gap, you don't have a, a big air gap there. Then what you want to do, Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why I always have trouble with that. Then you put your sheath back on, put that in there, and then we're going to change to the small needle. Just come down a little bit so I can just dust it here. Again, just put that on, make sure it's on, give it a twist, hold the bottom, hold the top, twist. And then you'll see this needle is much smaller. Need to come in. Uh, you just come to this end a little bit, and we can, and then people can see that that is much significantly smaller and thinner yeah, than the other one. Much nicer to be shoved in your stomach. Than... Yeah. So this is this is now ready to be administered. We take the. We take the sheath off. Hand it to the victim, Hand it to the <laughs> patient. And then what we do here is this is where you have to look to see where you're going to have them. So it's the guide is two fingers either side. So it can be, if it's two fingers here, you administer the injection here. And you want to alternate, this is day five for Rich. So you want to alternate where you're, where you're putting it on different days so that you don't do the same spot twice. Okay. You can either go in and administer it straight in, if you want to show the needle straight in, like, like straight in like that, or you can do it slightly to the side, which I think is the way that Richard prefers to do it. Yep. So put two fingers, choose where you're going to put it. Pinch the skin really tight if you can, because that one helps, but also the pinch, if you pinch really tightly, you don't feel anything when the injection Obviously goes Obviously I in. haven't got a lot of extra skin to pinch because of my six pack. Right, I'm going in. And then push it all down, just do it relatively slowly, don't have to do it quickly. Just put it back. Dab it slightly with the tissue. It doesn't really, I haven't really found that it bleeds much. Or that actually it hurts very much. The, the idea of it is much worse than the actual administering of it. So. And then you want to make sure that you put the needle into the box and you don't ever close this until today which is our last day and then everything keeps safe in your box and you're not throwing away needles in the bin so we hope that was useful have a great day